Hi, everyone. I want to go over the format for the high flex modality of HUM 1900. There is an announcement on D2L that talks about what the high flex format is. Students can choose to attend the weekly on campus meetings or, for any reason, complete the course in an asynchronous online format. Due dates and assignments are the same for, mo for both modalities. This flexibility enables students to successfully complete the course in person and remotely, or a combination of both. You can come every week. If you can't make it a week, you're responsible for taking the class in an asynchronous online format. And if you wanna complete the entire semester in an asynchronous online format, that's completely fine. For those attending the on-campus meeting, there is an announcement titled Content of Films and Obtaining Films. And the first thing you'll see is a warning. Some of the, few, some of the films viewed for this class may contain images, adult situation or language that may be offensive or triggering to some viewers. This class is designed for those 18 and older. The instructor reserves the right to show unrated or R-rated films. If this sort of film is objectionable to you for any reason, you are advised not to take this class. Students cannot successfully complete the, complete the class without watching the assigned films. Film ratings and warnings are posted in the syllabus and the weekly announcement on D2L. In this class, if you're attending the weekly on-campus meetings, you will be watching the film together in class. Films will be screened in class most, most weeks. Absent students must obtain the film for class. Most community libraries stream and rent the films for a nominal fee. Consider a borrowing from the library in your community. If you have cable, check the on-demand channels. All copies of assigned films are available to check out at the Royal Oak and Southfield campus libraries. And then it lists the available uh, films to stream for free. There, there are links if you just click on it, you can stream the following films for free through the OCC library. And then some other options like Hoopla, Prime, and how to search for a availability for a film streaming online through justwatch.com. I want to talk a little bit about the structure of this on-campus class. It's going to be a little bit different from the traditional lecture class. It's going to be more of a flipped class. So I want to go into the content area. Into the course information module. In this class, when you pay for your, tu your tuition, you automatically have access to the textbook in an e version format, and it's linked right here in the course information module. There is weekly assigned reading that students must complete before class. To access the textbook, just click on the link here and click on view course materials and then start reading. And you'll have access to the entire book in an e-format. We can just open up chapter one. The pictures are great. I love the way that they look online. And you can just tab through the pages here. Every week, students will be asked to watch the video lecture before class. Week one will be the only week that I will present the lecture in class just to give students an idea. And then I'll, of course, do a big overview of the class week one on campus. For those not able to attend the week one in-person meeting, please be sure that you watch the video version of the lecture and take the embedded quiz questions. Here it says students have access to the video quizzes for two weeks and can attempt the quiz as many times as they wish. Week one is the only week the quiz questions aren't graded. If you click here, it will open the video and as you play the video,
it will pause so that you can answer a series of multiple choice and true and false questions. You can see your score. You can go back, you can retake it, or you can continue on to complete the next portion of the lecture. Get into week two. So to prepare for the week two on-campus on meeting, you wanna start with the learning guide in the content area. It lets you know what the assigned reading is. Remember, you are to do the assigned reading before class. Then before class, you are to watch the video version of the lecture. This one will be graded. I will be checking to see the analytics the analytics will show me what, how much of the video you watched. I'm looking for 100% of the video lecture to be watched. And then when you take the little embedded quizzes, they will be graded. So you can take this quiz as many times as you want during the two weeks that it's available. The maximum score per quiz is five points and your score will automatically be exported and recorded in your grade center on D2L. In addition to the video version of the lecture, each week there'll be a film grammar sheet. Think of the film grammar sheet as a study guide. It will contain all of the information that we're covering on a weekly basis because you're gonna be doing the reading and watching the video version of the lecture before class, you're going to be attending class with all of this information already known, or at least an exposure to all of this information. The film grammar sheet is your opportunity to engage with important film grammar and names and the assigned film. If you have any questions about the film grammar sheet, I will be happy to go over Anything related to the weekly grammar sheet in class to clarify, I can pull the lecture up, we can watch the supplemental videos, and this really helps us to have an informed discussion and to start talking about the assignments when we're in class. You will have access to a PDF version of the lecture. The access to the PDF version of the lecture will be available to you throughout the entire semester. There is no time limitation on the PDF version of the lecture. So this is a really good way for you to go back uh, and clarify your notes. It mirrors the video version of the lecture 100%, just in a visual PDF format. There is a supplemental video playlist in each content area uh, in the weekly modules. Be sure to watch the supplemental videos they enhance the lecture. And I'm always happy in class if there are any questions about anything related to the lecture or the supplemental videos to pull them up. We can watch them together and we can talk about them. Because this is more of a flips class, what I will be doing in class, we'll start by watching the film, then we'll take a break, we'll come back, we'll discuss the film, We'll go over the film grammar sheet, and then I can go over any of these support materials related to the discussion board topics, related to the response papers, and we can start to discuss the assignments and go over them in class. You have access to all of these support materials on a weekly basis, and I do suggest that students review the support materials weekly until they have a strong understanding of the assignments and the assignment expectations. So this is a basic overview 
of this version of HUM 1900. For those of you attending the on-campus meetings, it is a flipped class. You will be doing your assigned reading and watching the video version of the lecture outside of class. When you come to campus, the first thing we'll do weekly is watch the film, discuss the film, and then go over all of the assignments in detail. And I will, of course, provide any clarification that you have about the film grammar sheet, the assigned film, and anything related to the assignments. I hope that this information was helpful, and I thank you for watching.